just aware of a whole lot of flame over here. <laughs> just try to. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It takes us back to Genesis, to the beginning. When the Spirit moved over the waters and God spoke, let there be light. And there was light. The Word was spoken, and that Word created all that is. What came into being was life. And light. What we hear later on is that John uh, comes and, and says, or no, excuse me, excuse me. What we hear later on in the Gospel of John, I got my Johns confused, is that God so loved the world that God gave the Son as a gift to the world to save us all. It was love that spoke the word. The love of God that surpasses all understanding. In Jesus, God is made known to us. God's word spoken in love. God's word God's child. This word, this child, made it possible for us to become children of God. With a word. With the word. God's love for all came into the world. We have heard it said probably from the time that we were little. Sticks and stones can break our bones, but words can never harm us. The thing is, that's a lie. Words have power. Power to break down. We human beings have the, the ability to break spirits, to break hope, to break relationships with just a word. The words of a parent, a pastor, a boss, a president, a friend, has the power to create and the power to destroy. God chose to create with a word. Let there be light. And there was light. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. John, this is the other John that I got confused earlier with. John came into the world to testify to the light. He, he pointed to the light. He said, I'm not the light. But he pointed to the light, the word, the life, the light. Sometimes it's hard to see the light, kind of like today when the light is shining in this, these windows and it can blind us over here. Light illuminates everything around us. Sometimes it's beautiful, and sometimes that light illuminates the ugliness that we have created. <laughs> then we want to just return to the darkness because it is far easier to stay in the darkness than to face the ugliness that is inside of us and the ugliness that we have created in the world. We don't want to face the darkness 
inside us. But just like walking outside on a sunny day, our eyes can adjust to the light. And we don't need to go back to the darkness. We can see the beauty that is around us and we can face our own ugliness in God's light. And then we can begin to change that ugliness into the beauty that God created from the beginning. God's intention. And this takes us all then back to the word and our words. God spoke love and brought light into the world. What word will we speak? Will we bring light or darkness into being? When we hear God's word spoken, I mean really hear God's word spoken, spoken in love, then we can see God's light revealed. And in that moment, we are reborn, not in body, but in spirit. And we become like Jesus, light for the world. We point to the light, and we are the light because the light is reflected off of us, just like the moon reflecting the light of the sun. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness will never overcome it. Amen. Amen.